LinkedIn connections are priceless. The problem is that most executives do not understand how to use their connections effectively. We're going to take a look at just one way to do that today. Now, managing and leveraging your LinkedIn connections is worth its weight in gold, literally. In fact, it can generate revenue for your business or open doors for new employment opportunities. Here is some insight on how to make your connections work for you, as well as a simple tutorial on how to export your connections. You should have an objective of building at least 1,000 connections on LinkedIn. That will take some time, but if you work at it for just a few minutes each day, you will be amazed at how fast it grows. Focus on connections that are relevant to your industry or functional area. Do not accept invitations just for the sake of building uh, your numbers on LinkedIn. Now, here are just a few reasons why you should build your connections. Number one, if you are a blogger, and you should be, you can email your new blog posts to your connections. That is far more powerful than just adding your blog post to your LinkedIn updates. Your readership will skyrocket. Now, I have done a couple of other videos on the power of blogging. I will provide annotations in this video. I suggest you read those or watch those as well. If you choose to do mass emails to your connections, use caution when doing so as you may end up on spam blacklists. I recommend you use an email service like iContact. It is inexpensive and enables you to manage all of your mailings. Number two, update your connections on any change in your employment, uh, i.e., for example, uh, a new position you achieved in your company. Or if you made a transition to a new organization, uh, tell people what your new company is. Or if you are now in transition, don't hesitate to email your contacts and let them know that as well. Number three, give your connections relevant content that could be of benefit to them. Discuss industry trends, technologies, emerging new businesses or products. Don't just shamefully try to sell your products, services, or seek employment. That's a great way to lose your connections. However, if you provide them with fresh content and a solid benefit, then it is acceptable to mention your company and or service. Nobody expects you to work for free, so it is perfectly acceptable uh, to let people know what business you represent and how that can be of service to them. But always provide a benefit and fresh content to the viewers. Number four, organize your connections into groups based on criteria. You can sort your connections by location, industry, company, name, and many more. This is effective for targeting a specific group of colleagues to contact, rather than contacting all of your connections at one time, or sifting through your connections and finding them one by one. For example, since I represent senior executives seeking new positions, I sort by recruiters, VCs, PEs, corporate decision makers, members of boards, key influencers, prospective clients, current clients, and miscellaneous. I can now communicate a different email message or campaign to each segment. That is extraordinarily powerful. Now, let's just take a quick look at a simple tutorial on exporting your LinkedIn connections. Number one, from the LinkedIn home screen, mouse over the Contacts tab. This will open up a drop-down menu. Within the drop-down menu, select 
connections. Step number two. If you would like to just quickly export all of your connections into an Excel spreadsheet, click the link on the bottom right that says Export Connections. It is as simple as that. Number three. Traditionally, this page allows you to sort through all of your connections based on criteria. Note that the tags represent each person's connection to you. Friend, classmate, colleague, partner, etc. Each connection is placed into one of these groups when you initially send a connection request. Now, you are able to add additional tags in order to sort your connections as you wish. And finally, step number four, when you have figured out which group of connections you want to export into an Excel document, you can either individually check the box next to their name or you can click Select All in order to get them into the right Excel column. All of the names that appear in the right column will be exported into a spreadsheet. So it's easy, uh, doesn't cost you hardly any money at all. I highly encourage you uh, to take this step. Now, if you are diligent in building your connections and managing those connections effectively, it will be priceless for your business and your career. If you are only using the free basic LinkedIn service, I encourage you to consider upgrading to a paid level. Select the level that is most relevant to you. We use the cor corporate uh, premium business account at $19.95 a month. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you uh, did so, uh, please click the like button. And if you are seeking a new challenge, uh, we would enjoy talking with you about your search. Uh, take care, everyone. Have a great day.